The way Nueces County has been explained to me by our legal counsel is it, it appears the elimination of a district in corpus was an offset for a gain made somewhere else, which is entirely permissible in Section 5. Uh, I think that the, the question remains, uh, if there are other districts, I think arguably some would say that perhaps the district that J.M. Lozano represented perhaps could have been, you know, maybe may have retrogressed somewhat. I'm not sure. Uh, but I do know this, all it takes is, you know, for instance, uh, there's an argument to be made about changes in Houston. And there is a district in the 137, which is represented now by Scott Hogberg, that there seemed to have been some adjustments to that district when they created the new district. Uh, and if that requires a change, then even a few percentage points really changes a lot of Harris County. Uh, there has been issues about intentional race uh, line drawing in Dallas, in parts of North Dallas. And we know that that was the basis for the creation of the congressional district in CD33, the new congressional district. Uh, but that same creativity with the map drawing existed in the state house map. Uh, lots of evidence about that. Lots of pictures of lines coming in to pick up minority population and then dispersing them to faraway places. Uh, I think that that issue is is potentially on the table. And, and some would take even that further, more, how should I say, uh, more optimistic view that some believe that the map could be so bad and the manner and means by which Texas adopted its map could just be so just riddled with discrimination that some would argue that they would question the viability of the entire map because of the motive. I'm not so sure if that's a winning theory or not, but, but there are people who are smarter than me to spend more years in voter rights litigation that seem to think that that's a possibility and certainly defer to that view. But, but uh, I think I'll be you know, just as optimistic and I'll anticipate what comes out of Washington. I think it was a very interesting trial. And, and you know, as you mentioned, redistricting is not pretty. You should see a lot of the emails that were produced and lots of the, you know, wasn't me, it was him kind of thing. You know, uh, uh, it was a, you know, it certainly is an exercise in, in political, you know, operatives at their best.